Hello guys, Cody here from Big Water Tours. Today I'm actually floating. This is the bridge on Highway 206 and Hungry Horse. This is where you'll get in. And uh, yeah, you just uh, have your little float line. And that's pretty much it. You just put your floats on and you're good to go. Then you start floating. I'll see you back when the rapids start. But from here it's about just calm for about two hours. So see you when the rapids start. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that this float will be around, I don't know, three, four, uh, three and a half hours. See ya. Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you that uh, when you go through this canyon, it's actually called uh, Bad Rock Canyon. But from here, it's really, really flat. Barely any rapids, just so you know. So it's a good time to relax, just sit back, enjoy the scenery. So guys, I'm just gonna show you some more of the canyon. And uh, here we go. Hey guys, sorry about the wind today. It's just not an ideal day for floating. But a day for floating is, uh, a very sunny day and it's about one o'clock. See ya. Okay guys, so right when you're about this far away from the uh, big metal wall, it's a retaining wall over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's also a boat launch over here. And uh, this is when you want to start turning to the right side of the river because you don't want to go down that fork to go down this fork because if you go down that fork you'll have to get out and walk because it goes into a lot of separate creeks nobody wants that so I'll go back when we get to the rapids up here all right guys these are the first rapids you're going to encounter they're not that bad but it really won't get much worse than this but when they do get worse I will show you guys when they do but these are the first rapids you're going to encounter. Okay guys, the next fork is up here, and it doesn't really matter which way you turn, but if you turn left, there are some rapids, and if you turn right, it's more calm. And I'm only recording the rapids, because they're fun. Here are the second rapids. On by the way, on these uh, forks, you have to start turning really early and really paddle, because that current will take you wherever it wants. Here are the rapids. These are this is the left side of the fork. These are the smallest rapids you're gonna get here. would have taken you, you'd have to get out and walk, because floats can't go down that. Right. Hello we're guys. Gonna this, we're going to go right down the middle. Yep, we're going to try going right down the middle of this. We call this the dang rock because it says dang on the side. And uh, you really don't want half of your crew going on one side and half of your crew going on the other. Because then you'll get stuck and have to untangle it. And oh no, I'm separating. Okay guys, once you get past the dang rocks, however you decide to do that, you wanna take a right up here for some really fun rapids, or a left for just some uh, casual 
casual floating. It just depends what you want. So I'm gonna tape the rapid. Okay guys, these are the best rapids we're gonna get here. These are the best rapids. The best rapids on this trip. You may not seem too intense on the camera, but they're really fun in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hit. Oh no, you may hit the rocks. Not be good if we hit the rocks. Woo! Hey, Gene. These are the biggest waves. Here are the really big waves. Woo! Some of those waves like come from nowhere. careful to stay on your tube on these waves because it can get hard. And that's about the end of these rapids. Alright, when you see the highway, you know your uh, journey's coming to an end. And it depends on where you're parked. If you're parked on the left side, you want to go left. <laughs> if you're parked on the right side, you want to go right really hard. Okay, get a picture of the water coming into the Oh well, yeah, there's river. some water coming into the river. It'll probably be better when we get closer. The yep. spillway! Yep, the spillway. And I'll see you when we're on land or if we see something interesting. If we flip over first. Yeah. So the last time... Hey guys, we just got back on dry land and it was really hard to uh, battle the currents and get to shore. And we had to like, the sides of the bridge kind of stopped us, the big pillars. So we had to go all the way around some of them. We went around the second one, and uh, yeah, then we had to paddle all the way across. Yeah, but this is Big Water Tours, signing out, Cody, see ya.